Oh, they were through already. Yep. We're already through, guys. Bam, son, we're done. What's up, fellas? We got ourselves a $1,200 tool here. And man, did I need this thing bad. It's the only tool that will do the job. So this is what we got here. These items here came with it. These things here. This is an 800 watt machine. I think we're gonna pop the hood off real quick and take a look at how well everything's put together make sure everything's good in there. Okay, I'm hoping to see some like six or 60 microfarad capacitors in there. Ooh. Not too shabby, guys. Dang it. You can't see the rating on these caps. I'll have to take them loose. But, uh, grab it. That, that better not be the power supply, but I think it is. Nope. There we go. So, guys, uh, this thing ain't no joke, man. These are power resistors, and this is the way the power is controlled. To, uh, turn it up or down you would simply throw more resistors into the loop as you can see here these switches would tie these in and out of the system so not a bad looking little board looking for an 800 watt spec I wonder if they took the deck off so I can't see it we're gonna be hooking a watt meter up to this thing for sure as it's running it does got a really nice cooling fan on it there Looks like they got a new torch height controller on this thing. Oh crap. Now see, that's what I wanted to see. Is that broken? Damn it, I hope this ain't broke. All right, so I put some high temp JB weld on that. At some point, I plan to add some caps into the program here because on the bigger machines they'll have like five of these caps and the way the machine works is it'll pull these in and out of parallel the more it has in parallel the faster and, and quicker um, rougher it cuts so sometimes they'll do a rough cut pass for um, precision drilling and then they'll turn off just and leave on just maybe one of the capacitors to do a finish the, the less capacitors you have, the cleaner the hole. But because we're doing tap removal and stuff like that, we would be okay to have like four more of these bad boys in here. Now, I can't show you what this is, but there are thousands, literally thousands of holes in this piece of stainless steel. Well, I got a couple of drill bits stuck in several spots here and this job dragged out so long i just couldn't bring myself to charge the customer anymore so i stopped the clock so the reason that i purchased this thing is because i've got a couple of drill bits broke off in these holes here as you can see we're going to take this edm machine to task and we're going to burn these drill bits out of these holes and uh i'm going to save the day here now i had a technique down that was getting them out but if they weren't deep enough to come through the other side with a punch, they were quite a bear. All right, fellas, so I am pleasantly surprised to see how well this thing is built. That's all aluminum, that's not plastic. It is pink, but we could always paint it blue or something. I don't sport pink. It looks like we're on lowest power here, maybe. We'll find out, we're gonna hit start. The head's going down on its own. Oh, wow. Look, guys, this thing's doing pretty good. A lot better than the testing I did. Uh, Three hundred watts. So okay, we have it at full power. I'm gonna go ahead and press the start button, and we're gonna see the head start to retract. So let's do it. And I want that on full power or not. I guess it's okay. Here we go. The head is moving. There it goes. It's actually cutting with some good power. So, so right at one minute in on our test clock. We're up to 400 watts almost there in a couple of them spots. I turned the servo motor up all the way.
highly doubt that thread, that cap carbide. We're doing really good. We're hitting the 400 watt mark. So I'm happy to see this thing is intuitive. It is definitely sensing what's going on. It's not just a blind plunge into the material. You can see here, it's going up and down. Okay, we're actually gonna drill a hole offset to the side here to make it even more of a difficult job. That's another cool thing about EDMs is they can drill into any, anything basically. So we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna start off regular. So here goes. that work a little while before we turn the vibration on I think. I want that tube to get down in the hole. Alright, we're gonna fire up the vibration. See what that does. Here it goes. Oh wow! Check that out! It works better. They say it's less accurate but who cares? What's that get us up to? Well, it's staying steady in the 400 watt. Well, it's... I so far, I'm in love. This thing is freaking awesome, man. All right, here we go, guys. That is just beautiful. And as I said, this is an offset hole, which is the hardest of all to do on something. Like, you could never do this with a conventional drill. And this is on the most inaccurate setting right here. We had this on vibrate. And it did a phenomenal job. Here's the other side. So you're looking at about, you know, 9 to 10 minutes to do this, which isn't half bad. Given the circumstances, we've got kind of a double hole thing going on there. You can see a hole meeting a hole. Just to kind of show... The weird things you can do. All right, fellas, so we have proofed the machine and I can definitely vouch for it. This thing is definitely a viable piece of equipment. But in the meantime, I got to get to work on this thing. I'm going to get it going and we'll go from there. Okay, we're set up. Get ready to do this first hole. Here we go for it. Turning it on. I was hoping this towel would catch a little bit of the stuff there. I'm not sure how good that's gonna work out, but we got a tank going here. I think we're through already. Yep. We're already through, guys. Bam, son, we're done. All right, guys, so it took me one minute to burn that drill bit out. We're already done. Phenomenal. So, I'll be done in about six minutes here. This is awesome. I've only got five more to go. get that pump out of the, the Merc though. So my little towel idea has got two purposes being served here. It's filtering and it's keeping this big plate from crushing this tub. See if I can get it out of there. All right, fellas, it's been a long time since I've bought a tool and had it perform a job so flawlessly and just been so happy. I, I am amazed with the performance of this machine. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother messing with it as far as making it more powerful just yet seems to be doing okay it could be a little quicker but for the most part you can go do other stuff while it's doing its job so it's not like you have to stand there and babysit it it has alarms on it and everything 
I definitely got a lot of ideas for this tool. We're gonna to be seeing a lot more of this thing. At some point, I will be adding more capacitors to give it more power. Take one last look at this. Look at that beautiful offset hole. Anyone who's ever had to drill an offset hole on a hard piece of metal is probably uh, loving what they're seeing right here. So that's why I did that. I wanted to drill the two hardest points possible to kind of expo the abilities of this thing, man. All right, like I said, fellas, I didn't do this video for the purpose of doing a review of a tool. I had a very serious, very expensive, important job to do. It required me to buy a, like a $1,600, $1,700 EDM drill. I called the manufacturer and told them, hey, if you guys give me a deal on this thing, I'll do some videos for you and give you guys, put your guys' this link out there on the video. So if anyone else wants to buy one of these things, they mentioned no box seven, you give them a discount too. So see how that works out for you. Anyone who's interested in getting one of these, I'm not going to make anything off of this from these people. Um, I just got a discount for buying mine, promising them that I would show it on my channel. And I was going to do that anyway. So it's, I just, this thing is so awesome. I had to share it with you guys. So let me know what you think, man. And if you have any input on EDM drilling, like some skill sets that I might be able to harness from you guys as input that'd be great let me know what you got going on with the edm drill